surprise you if I say Gurugram is among the top 10 most polluted cities in the world. But what might surprise you is that there is a beautiful biodiversity park in the heart of the city, which is home to more than 185 bird species. Spread over an area of more than 150 hectares and less than 5 minutes walk from the Guru Dronachari metro station is the Aravali Biodiversity Park. Today, we will explore this less renowned jungle trail with you all. Don't confuse this with the one in Vasant Vihar, Delhi. We have also added the HD footage of all the birds and mammals we could capture here in this video. So make sure you watch this till the end. Now look at these park timings carefully. If you want to come for a jog or cycling, the best time is in the morning from 5.30 to 7.30 and in the evening from 5 to 6. But keep in mind these are peak hours and the park is usually crowded. As a result, you might not get to see a lot of birds and mammals during these hours. Let's begin our tour with the blister beetles couple. They might look beautiful on the outside but can be poisonous too. The sky is so clear that it's hard to believe this is an Indian urban town. There are guards all across the park at different spots to keep an eye on anyone disturbing the flora and fauna. They are friendly and guide you well in case you feel lost. Also, there are maps all around the park for easy navigation. A small tip here, do not leave young children alone in this park as the routes might get tricky for them. If you don't believe us, let's show you an example. These cute pink piglets were left behind by their mother pig and now they have no clue where to go. With chickals in the park, their life is in serious danger when not around their mother. Anyway, you see those little creatures running down the road? That is a family of grey mongoose, very common in this park. Oh yes, how can we forget? There are hundreds of peacocks and peahens in the park. They are shy when you get close, but if you keep your distance, you can see a lot of them flying around. This park is a perfect habitat for these buffaloes. Lots of food to eat, no disturbance from humans or city traffic, and water holes all around. They might look intimidating at first, but they will ignore you and move the other way. These are harmless creatures, given you maintain appropriate distance from them.
At this point, which we call the peacock's point, we were surrounded by more than 15 peacocks. At least four of them are visible in this frame. Remember, you should not wear bright colored clothes or you might scare these birds away. Just sit patiently and observe them. Now, as promised at the start, let's show you the birds we captured during our visit. We will also try and learn some facts about each of them.